Hey guys and welcome to today's video which is all about feeding your leopard geckos. Now back in 2016 we had leopard gecko life hacks, now we have leopard gecko feeding hacks. Please remember that leopard geckos are insectivores, therefore they should not be fed anything like fruit or vegetables. All feed insects should be live, gut loaded and dusted with the appropriate supplements. More can be found on the feeding and supplementing schedule of a leopard gecko in a video I made which I will link below. Let's get on to hack number one. If your geckos are like mine and do not recognize that bowls equal food, then this hack is for you. Now the downside to having mealworms and loose substrate is that when you try to feed them to your gecko, they will end up burying themselves. So either you use a bowl or you feed them one at a time. Now bowls have never worked for me. My geckos just never use them either the mealworms escape or if I get a dish with a lip like I did the other day the geckos don't even see the food and do not recognize that there is food there so I found a new thing it's kind of a weird thing it works and it's super cheap basically all you need is a plastic or paper cup simply pop your mealworms in there remember you can technically also feed pupa and beetles pop in some supplements shake it around and pop it in the tank. Sometimes it helps to hold the cup in place unless you can wedge it between a few things. Before now I would just add in one mealworm at a time and it would take ages but now Diego can literally hunt like normal but with a lesser risk of mealworms actually escaping. Also remember there are a few different ways leopard geckos like to hunt and I did a video a while ago called encouraging your leopard geckos to eat or something along those lines because there are very different techniques you can use with your geckos. For example I was on the live stream the other day and someone said their leopard gecko was not eating mealworms at all. I believe they were using a bowl and I said take them out the bowl and just feed them one at a time in front of the gecko and it worked. So every gecko is different and I highly recommend checking out that video. Hack number two, so besides a cup technique, how do you dust your feeder insects? Now surprisingly I get this one a lot, but if you want an even coverage of supplements, simply get a food bag, pop in the supplements, add in the food, and shake it around. And that is really it. Remember leopard geckos do need supplements, and this is a subject that gets done wrong a lot. So um, I've done quite a few videos on it and I will link them below if you want to learn more about supplements. Hack number three, hand feeding. This can be great when you want to bond with your gecko, it earns trust, it's fantastic. However, a leopard gecko's aim isn't always perfect. So if you are literally hand feeding them and you want to avoid them biting your skin, then make sure when you hold the cricket, you put your nails facing towards the gecko. That way if they miss the food, they tend to just bite onto your nails, which are too hard to really penetrate. So they usually let go pretty quickly. Or if you are a sensible human being, you may use tongs. I did used to do this when I first got gizmo, but I'd find that like the cricket's legs would just drop off or it was just uh, annoying. Yeah. Hack number four. Uh, so talking of hand feeding, it's always important to make sure your gecko doesn't get bored or lazy. So don't be afraid to make them work a little for their food, but please remember, Ideally you want your gecko actually hunting their food so chasing their food around their enclosure every now and again You want to do a bit of you know cheeky hand feed. That's fine. As I said, it's great for bonding, but Yeah Make them work for it Hack number five So to ensure your gecko's prey isn't too big for it You can judge it on the width between their eyes if prey is too big for the gecko They can choke or regurgitate it I have found that geckos, if they're handled after feeding, if they eat too much too quickly, or as I said, if they eat food that's too big for them, they can sometimes regurgitate their food. Don't worry too much if this is just a result of one of them, you just have to adjust what you're doing. However, if your gecko does keep regurgitating its food, it may be something more sinister, so you want to consult a vet. Also keep in mind, if food is too big or too small, there's a chance your gecko won't even bother trying to eat it. And to finish off this video, we have a kind of a fact and a fiction situation. So the first thing, which is kind of a fact, is if you're ever close enough to a gecko when it's eating and you've got the right light, you can actually see the food pass whilst it's being swallowed. You can see it go past the ears. Yeah, in the right light, you can actually see 
straight through a gecko's head as you can see with Minnie here and if she were eating right now you could literally see that food go past it's it's kind of grim uh, but please remember never put anything in or near those ears they contain very delicate skin which can easily be damaged and um, the effects can be irreversible and potentially deadly the fiction which is somewhat fiction somewhat fact so this whole section is kind of ruined is the fact or fiction that Mario worms can eat the geckos from the inside out if you don't remove their heads. So when I first fed Mario worms I did remove their heads because I was slightly worried. However if you have a healthy gecko and the food is the correct size for the gecko it should digest the entire Mario worm no problem. The only time this can technically occur is when you have a severely ill gecko who cannot digest their food properly and yeah potentially the Mario worm can eat it inside out which is terrifying but yes if you have a healthy adult you should have no problem at all so anyway um, I hope you enjoyed this video if you have a hack of your own feel free to leave it in the comment section below for more gecko related content make sure you click the subscribe button but thank you for watching guys and goodbye oh,